Hello, Bread Fiesta here, and welcome to Introverts Day 2016, our fourth annual celebration of introverts and all things introversion. Every year, I let's play an entire game in full to celebrate, and this year, we'll be playing through Shantae for the Game Boy Color. Shantae was released in June of 2002. This is about the same time that I started to learn that outside was a place that you could have fun. And I was still living in a place where heteronormativity was a pretty big factor, so I ended up never playing it at the time. Also, we still only had dial-up, so if it wasn't on the cover of Nintendo Power, chances are I'd never even heard of it. The character Shantae was created by Erin Bozong, while the game was made by her husband, Matt. Commercially, it flopped likely due to the timing of its release, over a year after the Game Boy Advance was released in most markets. Sorry, China. However, it was critically well received, and was viewed favorably through the lens of history. There are two sequels, and a third that was just released only a few days ago. Shantae is a bit longer than other Introverts Day games that I've played. Hopefully this will make up for posting less content this year. Plus, a project like this might help me figure out exactly what I want to do with my art next year. Every year, I have a theme for my Introverts Day projects. In 2013, we played Spooky Castle, because I wanted to be completely irreverent and celebrate an entirely different holiday. In 2014, we played Barbie Super Sports, because the weather this time of year is cold. Sometimes. Also screw heteronormativity. In 2015, we played Sonic R, because I was leaving on vacation, and the words of Sonic himself I have to move quickly now. Right? That's that's definitely it. And this year, we're playing Shantae, because... Look, let's just say I know what I want for the holidays. So let's get started. <sighs> the ocean. So beautiful this time of year. Hello, traveling sailors. Uh. Rude. Not another pirate attack. Again. All right. Guess we're born the others. Darn you, pirates. So this is Shantae. Uh, as a Game Boy Color game, the controls are not super complicated. We can jump. We can attack with our glorious ponytail. Uh, if we hold attack, we can run. Otherwise, we just move at a comfortable pace. Um, and there's a few other mechanics I'm sure we'll figure out. Uh, so let's go warn the others. We have to move quick. We have to move quickly but carefully. Uh, let's try not to get hit because this game is, uh, or it can be a bit difficult, and. Uh, whoa! And also, I guess not stand still. And apparently, they don't even have to fire cannonballs for them to drop on us. Ooh. Carefully. 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 Okay. There's the town. We're getting close. Unfortunately, so are the pirates. Even though they were coming from that direction. So they went out of their way to attack us. Hello. It's pirates! And they need a sandwich, I guess. They look real scrawny. Hello. Hi. You look... See, you're behind this attack. Risky Boots the Lady Pirate. The only one, I guess. In the flesh. Oh, well, if you're apologizing, then that's fine. You know, I accept your apology for destroying my house. Well, okay now. You're gonna apologize and then you're gonna start throwing shade? That's some risky business, Risky Boots. And don't think you're gonna be the one hauling booty, because Shantae is the one who hauls the booty. I tell you what. Alright, well, if I'm gonna... Earn my keep as Scuttletown's genie. 
Yes, let's do exactly that. Never fear, citizens. I have come to haul the booty. Here it is. Here's the booty. I've got it. So, no worries here. Okay, so this game is known for being somewhat difficult. So let's try not to uh, get ourselves into too much danger here. Okay. Whoa! Like that. That would be danger. What we are trying to avoid. But we've done exactly the opposite of that. But it's fine. Everything is going to be good. Get close enough. Shantae's hair does not have as much range uh, as probably we would like, but it's... You know what? It's beautiful, and it's kind of the length of hair that I want, and I'm getting there. It's been actually, like, over almost five years now since I've blessed up my hair, so... I've destroyed your temporary home. You cannot build here. That is not how zoning laws work. We picked up some coins. I have no idea what those are for. I have... I've only played up to, like, the first... Boss? Mini-boss? I'm not entirely sure. Um... There's something over here, isn't there? Yeah, more health. But we didn't need, but that's fine. So one thing that's cool about this game is that uh, there's different effects and it recolors everything and it's really cool. So, <laughs> yes, one thing that's good about this game is that it's cool. I don't care about you. Should I be letting any pirates go? I guess not. Though it doesn't matter because they'll just respawn if we wait too long, so we gotta move quickly. Gotta rescue the town, gotta save the people. Gotta go fast. Gotta... We have to move quickly now. Wise words of Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay. So, probably should do something about the fires, but we can only do so much. We are, we're a guardian genie, not a firefighter, for goodness sake. It's, it's a game that you want to move quickly, but you also have to move very carefully, as what I feel. Um, and how I feel is, uh, really dictates how I play the game, so I wonder what down is. I guess down is the way you gotta go, so. This nighttime, suddenly it's nighttime, I guess, also, but I really like the color scheme for it. Hello, pirates. Good. Whatever. Alright, so we're just gonna, um, let them completely destroy our infrastructure, that's fine. Just a little block jumping puzzle, no big deal for the guardian genie of Scuttle Town. Nope, not at all. It's not a problem. This reminds me of the Great Wall from, uh, Crash Bandicoot 1. Um, and probably some other games too, but that's just the one that it immediately reminds me of because it is a game that I play. And it's actually a game I wanted to play Let's Play this year. And I got as far as like recording an intro for the project, but then uh, couldn't beat the first level and or couldn't 100% the first level, which hello. Hey, that's um a something. Oh, we should do something about that. We should do, but it's a cutscene and we can't. Uh, you didn't need this house, did you, old man? I mean... Mimic! Hello! That's your name. Are you okay? What? Now, why just... Why would you say moan? Tinkerbats, I guess, are the names of the pirates. Oh, your workshop. Oh, at least it wasn't your house. It was just where you did all your work and all of your life's goals and everything. So, no big deal. Right? See, at least you got the lower levels of Maslow's hierarchy. Steam Engine is that thing that they stole. 
great question. And, uh, okay, well, later is a good time. I will handle this. Forward. Okay. I'm pretty sure that this... Can we even go this way? No. Okay. Yep. Teaching us some more mechanics of uh, blocks that collapse. Okay. It was good timing. And it's daytime again. We spent an entire day traveling through the... Skull Town is real big, I guess. You're... You were dead to me. Which is not the same as being actually dead, but it's close to Okay. I think we're getting... Hello. I saw you there. Ooh, that was a big money. I like big money. Oh, we're on the pirate ship now. Great. Okay. So this... This boss right here, spoilers, is as far as I played. That's far enough, risky. Where is the steam engine? Oh, well, all right. Your sea? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure it belongs to everybody. And the sea's not really hot water, except for the blob, which I think is still a thing, but it is ridiculous. You're ridiculous. The ocean is free for everyone, except for private clubs, because you've got to make everything a capitalist venture. Who do you think you are? I'm Risky Boots. Oh, that's actually the joke. Queen of the Seven Seas. Okay, let's not do that. Let's... Oh. Weird. Okay. So let's not get... I know, I know that the uh, weak part of the ship is right there. Okay. Yay! We blow it up. Okay. And she fell into the... Okay. This part is a pain in the butt because it just... I mean... It just feels like... If you fall into the water, you lose a life. And... Um... There we go. Okay. It just feels like you have to be very particular about your motions. Uh, but the um, the explosions won't actually hurt you unless they hit the platform, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, one last one. Careful. There we go. Hey, we did it! Nice. That was the best I've ever done that boss battle. Uh, a total of one times that I've done it before, so... Sure you did. I only blew up decent parts of your boat. We don't know what steam power it is, so it's a really stupid taunt. And now we're kind of trapped. Success fanfare. Hello, ah, uh, simple-faced mayor of Scuttle Town. I can tell that you're not a main character because just look at you. Good job, Shantae. Just a simple bandits. Not a big deal. <laughs> yeah, praise yourself. Pat yourself on the back. I sure did a good thing by hiring a superhero. <sighs> only a half genie. I'm only half as good. Uh, don't... Don't get down, Shantae. You did a good job today. It's fine. Don't 
Don't let the imposter syndrome set in. It's... Things are gonna be alright. You are a hero. Hey, it's you and you're green now. What happened? Where... Yeah, uh, about that. First off, we don't even know what a steam engine is, and I'm pretty sure the pirates stole it. Oh, that makes me so angry. Only you are a real genie. Just because you're half of something doesn't mean you aren't still that something. Okay. Yes, please explain from the beginning. Give us a science lesson because... Alright. Alright, so you are a... Um... Geologist? Or somebody... A paleontologist? Somebody who does excavations. Um, an Indiana Jones type. Whatever... Uh, words escape me. You unearth an ancient vault. Hidden inside is a diagram of a strange contraption. Okay, so it was future science. Oh gosh, please explain how steam works. Mm-hmm, water gets hot, and it makes the air move fast. And it blasts out the top of the steel sphere, and it spins some spoons taped to a water wheel. Indefinitely until the water runs out. Um... But somebody just buried these plans in the ground rather than use them for themselves because they are... Usually when people do that, it's because they see it as dangerous. Um, but then some well-mannered scientist ends up creating mass destruction and... Vixen, goodness, we are not nice to each other here. Watertown. Okay, maybe. Yeah, I guess in order for a steam engine to work, you gotta have water, so Watertown seems like the natural place to go. Not like there's any water around this town, but... The save room. That's a thing that we will do. Okay, we have control again. Um... You need to get to Watertown and find Bolo. Okay, Bolo, that's another clue. I'm walking to the edge of the... Where... Do I go this way? Okay. So you just gotta go back the way you came. Alright, so there's the dock. Oh, okay, this is cool. You can control... I like this. Warp Squid Hut. What's that? Okay, I've, no... I've not played this... How do I go... Do you go up to go in? Yeah, okay. I haven't played past the boss battle. I haven't even seen that story about the steam engine. Hello, you must be the warp squid. Tell me what who you are. My babies! Oh. Oh, okay. All four of the baby warp squids. I'll give you something nice. I would love something nice. Okay, so we have to... That's a, a collectible. Let's take notes. Alright, four warp squids. This is the recipe for success. The first ingredient is four warp squids. The dance parlor. Just gonna explore everything because, again, I have no idea. Hey, hello. Can you talk to all these people? Or just the ones who are moving? The ones who clearly have kiddo shows over till tonight come back later okay so i guess that whole time mechanic that we saw in scuttle town is probably an actual thing so gotta pay attention to that skull town gates that's probably where water town is item shop hello i have money i would like to purchase items Okay. How do I see more of the... 
Okay, so right apparently is to purchase. Restores a few hearts. Restores several. Restores all. Let's you walk past enemies. Okay, so that's like invincibility. Storm. 20 storm puffs. Tricky to use, but extremely powerful. 10 pike balls. Alright. Okay, so I don't have uh, money for any of that, but keep that in mind. Save room. We were told to go here. Hi. You're in a dragon suit. Would you like me to save a record of your... Yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah. Your save game will be overwritten. That's pretty standard. What's here? Bathhouse! Hi. Hi, Shantae. This is the place to revive those aching muscles and soak your worries away. <sighs> oh, okay, it's... Healing. And... The sides are angled so you can easily get out. That's helpful. Thank you! You had a nice color scheme. Mimic stock. Okay. So we've learned uh, that we need to collect warp squids, we need to get to Watertown, we need money to buy stuff, and we need to come back at... Do you, which way do you think Watertown is? What I kind of want to do is just kill some time until it's nighttime and then see if I can do... Oh, okay. Hello, sir. Alright, you're low to the ground, so I gotta... And you take two hits now. Okay, so sudden ramp up in difficulty. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Alrighty. There we go. There's something up there. It's a bat. Alright. Some sort of imp thing. Does the screen go down? Can I see what's below me? No. That's annoying. Oh, you can just walk through these. Alright. That's fine. Why is everything so, like, mean looking? Oh, that was awful. That was also awful. You're mean. And not friend- that- mm, Breathe. <laughs> Just keep walking. Okay, there's a skull. It's scared. Get back here. Stop moving. I can't hit it. There we go. It feels like enemies jumping out and with very little uh, reaction time is going to be kind of the theme of this. Keep moving. Alright, now we're back to the... That was also very rude and not... Okay, only have one hit left. That's not stupid at all. And now it's night time. See if I can get back to the. Yeah, that will get me back to the town. That's fine. Whatever. Okay, so I'm looking for the dance studio now. Dance parlor, rather. It is nighttime. Yes, absolutely. Which rank will you try? Higher rank means bigger winnings. Okay, so... Alright, so this is like a pay-to-play minigame? Sure. Rank E. You're ret to go. That's, I guess, like the, um... Recurring catchphrase? Okay. 
I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, that's just a dance dance revolution. Okay, I couldn't even watch Shantae actually dancing because I had to pay attention to the arrows, and the timing is real bad there. Like, alright, so I paid 10 and got 15 back. Okay. Bonus of 5. I did beat rank E. I'm quite good. Yeah, no, you had to hit the button not when it was, like, exactly in the square. You had to be, like, slightly above it. 25 gems. Nice. Uh, no, I'm good. Rude! Scaring off the customers. Okay, well... I wonder if there's an easy way to get extra lives, because... Uh... If I died in the very first area... Um... 